My name is Madeline Stewart. I live in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm 18 years old. So about three years ago, I was in an accident with a firework. Um, we just need a press a guide because of the injuries that occurred from that incident. I just wish we knew how could like how good it could turn out and how like close to normal I could have looked, you know? Because I thought when the accident happened and that first prosthetic I got, like that was the best it could have been. My dad has this thing where he says, duh face, where like if you just stare blank and like straight, and that's kind of something we gauge when we're like looking at a new eye. If I did a duh face with that, it was very bulgy and large. And every single night I'd like come home from school and I'd have to take it out because it was so uncomfortable that like I couldn't keep it in and I couldn't sleep with it and I'd have to sleep with like an eye patch and it, it was just, life was much harder with the last piece that I had. The digital iris, with prosthetic eyes you know that you can get like the color the same and you know that you can get close to the same shape and I know movement is something that's really hard to achieve too but um, like having uh, the digital iris is kind of like a next gen thing, it's like really modern and it kind of just shows that this the roof for prosthetic eyes hasn't been reached and that there's more that we can do to help people who are in the same situation that I'm in. I'm grateful that I don't have to take my prosthetic out every night. I'm grateful that it moves around as much as it does and I'm grateful for how similar it looks to the actual eye that I have. I'm just grateful to have found John and like have the opportunity to make it better.